Hi. Oh yeah, I've got a new beard, baby. I kind of just uh, shaved the sides. Just kept this little part in the middle. Do I look sexy? Probably not, I probably look like a dumbass. <laughs> Anyways, we're not here to talk about my beard. Today we're gonna be talking about Mario Kartor and what is next for it. What is coming in the foreseeable future. Now to those who are unfamiliar with the recent news that Nintendo released for Mario Kart Tour, the game has stopped receiving content and we finally got into the latest new tour without any new content and it's basically just a rerun of the same tours that we got last year. Um, they released a little trailer the other day which showed off the next few ranked cups and the f next few tour lineups and it shows off like the regular ones we've seen last year like Battle Tour, Halloween Tour, Om Tour, etc. And we could probably suspect that they're going to keep continuing this trend with tours after this autumn celebration. There's a big problem with this. Even though we're still, you know, continuing to get marker tour support from Nintendo, it's, it's not the best decision that they could have went, like the best route. There's so many different things that they could have done that didn't need to be like this. This is probably the most laziest route they could have done is just exactly repeating the same stuff as last year. Except, yeah, you know, they changed up a few minor things in this battle tour. They added um, new buffs, which I suspected was going to happen for the newer items anyways. We also got Waluigi Bus Driver as a challenge reward rather than 20 rubies from last year. And we also got a little bit of an update on the balloons, where if you get duplicate balloons out of the multiplayer pipes now, you get 1,000 coins instead of 300 coins, which, why wasn't that a thing a long while ago when this game was receiving content? But other than that, it's still basically the same battle tour as we've seen last year. It's just the same ranked cups, same tracks, same pretty much everything. And we could probably suspect this to be the same way as for the Halloween tour and the Autumn tour, which are right after this. Now, some of you are probably also asking, how is this an issue? Since, you know, Nintendo stopped making content and they could basically just, you know, do a loop, like, a loop of just random tours they've done in the past. Well, the main issue is, tour players, especially like me, have really wanted to see more variety within these new tours, instead of just re-looping, like, the same past year of tours, like, that's very uninspired and very unoriginal and we could have seen stuff from like the past few years where we've gotten tracks and they could have just like they could have made them more unique i guess and if they really are going to continue the trend of just having all of these tours be just looped as the same from last year that means we're only going to be seeing tracks like yoshi's island like once before the game could potentially shut down um minor spoilers up coming ahead but um, there's been a data miner in the community known as Koopa V, who uh, you, you, you guys have probably mainly heard of him. He's someone who just basically reveals early tour stuff and sometimes updates and whatnot. And he revealed that the final tour that he could so far find was towards the end of July of 2024. Now this could lead to a end of service date, or it could not. I don't know what they're going to do, but honestly, if Nintendo does end service right in July, it would be... It would be so stupid. But aside from that, we have tracks and characters that we've gotten recently. Like, for example, Gold Wiggler. Um, we've also gotten Wiggler himself. And also, Armex Venom Lake 2. Like, these tracks that we just recently got, are they actually even going to come back? Like, if they are ending the service in July of next year for whatever reason, that means we won't be able to even experience those things again. Unless if they do add Gold Wiggler in, in like, daily spotlights or something. But... It seems unlikely right now, and the fact that they just made Armex Venom Lake 2, just had it in one tour and been like, okay, we're closing down the game in July, that's all you're getting from it. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand what was so hard about mixing around tracks in these tours just to give us more access to them, and changing up the ranked cups. Like, at the very least, if you're going to do looped uh, tracks... You, and, and tours in general, you might as well just change up the ranked cups between those tours. Like, for example, if you have the same amount of cups, same amount of tracks, the same everything from a specific tour, you should have at least changed, you should have at the very least changed some of those cups to be ranked instead of the ones we literally had gotten last year. It's very lazy, it's very disappointing. However, I do have a few upsides to that, and number one is a lot of these tracks that are 
coming back up in these tours is since we have so much content in the game with what they've done with the past year they've been kind of mixing around all of these tracks and technically in a way so it kind of makes it feel like it's special a little bit like maple treeway i don't think really returned very much after this upcoming halloween tour which is very disappointing but this could be also the last time we see maple treeway like that's the sort of thing i'm talking about like they're keeping specific tracks for like most of the time seasonal like for example mary mountain only shows up in winter or yoshi's island and ninja hideaway only show up in the spring like they're specifically putting some of these tracks just seasonal and it's it's okay sometimes but it feels like they should be giving us more access to them because otherwise what's the point in really playing tour anymore like, you could just probably play most of the Retro Tracks and most of the Nitro Tracks, actually, mainly every single tour Nitro in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and it's like, you you gotta give us something to make us interested to stay with tour. Now, the other day, I was recording a little, like, rundown reaction video for the Battle Tour, and I was interested on the buffs and stuff, and while some of them were interesting, it's like, it's not my type of content to make. I realized after just kind of looking through the ranked stuff, I'm like, is, is this even really worth uploading, really? And so I ended up just canceling it. It was about seven minutes long, so it wasn't really going to be a long video anyway. I mean, there's really nothing you can really look at that isn't something we've already seen last year. And so it was just basically me talking about ranked. I mean, does anyone even really find that interesting? Probably not from me. I know Shy Guy Card did a video about it the other day, and he did really well. I really liked watching his video, and he probably he does way better um, like content like that, way better than me. I also saw that Sammy did it as well, except he did like a live stream, which I think it's really cool. He's doing like his little grind series on Wednesdays now in terms for, you know, the new tours. But for me, it's like... I don't know if it's really worth it for me, honestly. Before we do get deeper into the topic, I do want to go and switch over the video to Tris from Game Explain and have them talk about their own thoughts and feelings about this whole, like, Mario Kart Tour situation. So, honestly, it's so disappointing what Nintendo's done to Mario Kart Tour. I mean, sure, you know, there's tons of Mario Kart players that have been waiting years for Mario Kart Tour to die, so to say. I guess they're getting their wish. But it, it, for, for the people that actually enjoy the game, for the people that actually play and love the game, like me and others, it's really disappointing because you can kind of look back at how content for this game was done in the last year, since the third anniversary, since their big update for battle mode and removing the gacha, something that should have been a major shift in the game to a brighter future for it, so to say. It really wasn't. Um, that could have been their moment where they try to hook new players, where they try to add, like, several new characters and brand new carts and tons of brand new courses and re big retro courses all at the same time to hook new players back in that maybe hadn't been playing the past three years at the time. And it didn't. They debuted their big changes with GCN Cookie Land and Chef Luigi. And that was really it. And then the next tour was the Halloween tour with nothing. No new no new content. Well, new course, but no new character alts and no, no nothing really significant in terms of new carts. And that was kind of the start of really being able to see that they were not going to make this as big as they could. They were not going to take it as seriously as they could be. And disappointing and truthfully I've, I've been disappointed with the state of the game since that point um it's been kind of clear that they were gearing up to slow down content at some point i mean you look at the past year leading up to this fourth anniversary we've had so much rushed content we had the mario vs luigi tour i think over the summer that had three courses added at once mario raceway luigi circuit and mario or waluigi stadium why why were those all at once? Uh, we had several tours where there was a brand new course added, or a brand new retro course that was added, and it wasn't even the spotlight of the tour. It was like barely featured in the trailers for it. Like, it, it's been feeling odd in this game for a while. Yes, we've been getting tons of brand new courses and tons of retro courses. That's surely a good sign, but it was everything else in the game that's been lacking. You know, they... They really could have spaced things out better because with where they ended up since 
the anniversary, it's pretty clear that's it. Um, because now, as soon as as soon as the anniversary is done, we're jumping straight into exact reruns of last year. So it's disappointing, frankly. It's disappointing that we're at the end. It was always going to be disappointing when new content from Mario Kart Tour ends. And I need to stress, it's not the same as just that. It's the way they're handling the end of content that makes it more so disappointing. In terms of what they could have done differently for it, though, I mean... Instead of just rerunning the exact content we had this time last year, repurpose three years worth of content. Repurpose those tours from when there was still a gacha into the current form, uh, the current format for how these play out. You know, with the way the two ranked cups are structured, with the the way the courses are selected, the way the spotlighted items in the shops happen. I don't think that really would have been too different because it's not none of that would have been new it would have been restructuring the same content from before. And I think that would have been okay. Um, if it felt like we were actually going to get content from anywhere in the game's four years kind of randomly thrown at us, I think that actually would have been fine. I, I, I think a good amount of people would have been sad that the new content's ending, but satisfied with that outlook. But that's not what we're getting here. What we're getting here is a one-to-one -one repeat of the third anniversary to fourth anniversary, presumably, from what we've seen and what the next three tours look like. Maybe they will be repurposing stuff, maybe they will be changing things up a bit, but to go at least a month before that actually happens, that's not a good look. That's not a good look, and it's going to make people drop off. So looking ahead to a year from now, the fifth anniversary, I don't think we're going to make it. I, I really don't think this game is going to make it to the fifth anniversary. It might, like, still be there, and then, you know, in time for the fifth anniversary, we'll learn, oh, that's the end of service. But there's definitely not going to be as many players. Like, I know, like, plenty of people that I know that play Mario Kart Tour, this is their stopping point. This happening right now is their stopping point. I don't think... It's going to be anywhere near a good, sustainable player base come the end of it. I think it'll be a little bit more than maybe Dr. Mario World had. I don't have the numbers on that, obviously, to be able to check, but it's going to be a fraction of the current player base that we've had over these years. I don't know how big of a fraction or how small of a fraction, but it's going to be a fraction of those players. And by the time they announce end of service, which I think will be around the fifth anniversary at the latest, everyone will look at it and then go, yeah, saw that one coming. I'll still be booting the game up here and there and trying to race. I don't think I'm going to be trying to, like, fully complete tours anymore. Uh, I'll probably just kind of boot it up here and there whenever I'm in the mood. Mostly hop on the multiplayer. As long as the rule set's fun for the day. But that's about it, you know? It's been a great run with this game. It's just so sad to see instead of continuing a good run, they tripped and fell on their face. <laughs> to put it lightly. Uh... I think a lot of the community is very clearly upset about this. And I'm very curious if anything will change because of all of us being this upset about it. But to look at more than just Tor, I mean with Tor ending new content and Wave 6 of the Booster Course Pass for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe coming very soon, it does feel like this era of Mario Kart is about to have its, its chapter close. Everybody's starting to think that maybe this means a brand new Mario Kart's on the horizon. And I think, of course, Nintendo's going to make another Mario Kart game. Of course. When? Well, if rumors are to be believed of a new console, you know, the next Switch, whatever we're going to call it, coming sometime next year, I don't think it would launch with Mario Kart. I don't think we'd have Mario Kart Tour end and the Boots of Course Pass end and like, oh, eight months later, here's the next Mario Kart. That feels way too soon. So if I had to like give a time frame, maybe like within year one of that console, probably closer to year two, it would definitely be within the first couple years of that console. But presuming a console launches 2024, maybe looking at a 2025, maybe even 2026 launch for the next Mario Kart game. And that's a decent cycle, actually. Mario Kart usually has a sort of three year cycle. And if Everything in Mario Kart 8 is ending in 2023. 2025 to 2026 isn't that bad. That sounds so far away now, but 
There's a lot of content between Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and until the end of the servers for Mario Kart Tour to keep us going in the meantime. And let's be real, Mario Kart's been so oversaturated the last couple of years that I think uh, if they went a few years without anything Mario Kart, it wouldn't really hurt anybody. But I love Mario Kart. I'll take more whenever. <laughs> whenever they have it ready. By the way, I'll leave Triss's video up in the eye above. Just so you guys can go and check out more of their thoughts about this whole situation since that's kind of what inspired me to do this video a little bit was kind of just like I need to talk about my own thoughts and I also need to kind of explain what I'm going to be doing with my tour content and what I can see Mark or tour turning into the future and what they could have probably done better. A few other things I do want to kind of go and talk about a little bit is Nintendo really could have just did everything so much more different. We could have gone different kinds of gold pass gifts where they could have given us better things I guess like you could have given us the Hanafudas again like when are the Hanafudas ever gonna return they could have given us more interesting track loadouts like it's just like there's so many things that they just completely messed up and I have a feeling as many others have also said that a lot of the content they've given us for the past year feels like it was pushed out way too much and given with how they've been kind of just closing service for a lot of things lately like the Nintendo eShop for example just recently got their um, announcement that in April they're shutting down the 3DS and Wii U like online services and it's like Wave 6 is right around the corner too so like it feels like a lot of their stuff that they're trying to do is they're just trying to rush through everything I don't know if that's just me that feels like that it feels like especially with Tor they rushed out so much content within the past year and it feels like they could have had another whole year of content and given with how much stuff was scrapped for this game i have a feeling that was going to be the case until something must have came up in development and i don't know what happened unless if it has to do with something with them removing the pipes last year and they just kind of want to rush out content because they knew they maybe weren't going to get as much money as they used to when pipe pulls existed that's probably the more likely case, I feel like, because there is a lot of stuff they could have just, you know, spread out for another whole year that they just, they kind of just squished all together within the past year. And it was cool having that much content in each tour, but it also leads to the consequences afterwards where we just, it's, it's just nothing. <laughs> Now this video has been leading all to the big question on what am I going to do with tour videos and am I going to still continue doing, you know, like reaction sorts of stuff. No. Yeah, that, that was a straight up no. I was trying to figure out such a good way to go and talk about these ranked buffs and just buffs in general, but it's just like, it feels repetitive. It also kind of just feels a little boring. I feel like that'd be very boring to watch coming from me. And honestly, it's like, there's no, there's no point in really doing those videos and there's no point in, you know, talking about previews. I mean, there's just, there's just nothing I can really do about it. It doesn't mean I'm ending my service with Tor. Like, I'm still going to keep playing the game. I'll still let you guys uh, have updates, like, on, like, Twitter or on Discord. But other than that, it's like, I'm, I, I don't think I'm really going to be doing Tor videos anymore. And it's very sad because that's what started up my whole channel. And I've been playing it and supporting it for the past three years. I'll still continue supporting it. But I just, I don't think there's really any more room for me to make content unless if I was to do like multiplayer fun stuff or ranked grind videos or something on the lines of that. But for now, I feel like it's, it's, I think it's maybe time for me to just kind of move on. Stuff like that isn't really necessarily something I do on my channel. I kind of just go in depth into what tours look like and what's included in stuff. And then I used to, you know, react to previews, but of course that doesn't really exist anymore. So I think occasionally from now on, I think I might have some discussion videos with tour related stuff um, in the near future. But for now, I think I'm going to probably take a very long break from Mario Kart Tour content in general. I don't think I'm going to be covering the game anymore because I just, there's just nothing I can really do unless if you guys have any thoughts or want to see like ranked grinding videos. I mean, I'm all down for it, but I just I don't think the majority of my audience really wants to watch that from me. <laughs> But like I said, I think I'm going to be taking a break from just if I were to do other ranking videos or whatnot. I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break, probably a few months or a few weeks. It's going to be quite some time because I think I'm going to more focus on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and the future of Mario Kart in general because we're almost done with the Booster Course Pass as well. And Tour is already done, so like I just I can't cover any more stuff about it. 
and then the BCP is almost done so I think I probably want to go and talk about that a little bit more and also just have a lot more fun with Marker 8 Deluxe because I haven't really been making 8 Deluxe videos lately. The only thing I've done recently was a P-Chat video, just a little small rant video about that, and then um, of course the Wave 6 teaser reaction, but other than that I don't really think I've had any like Wave 6 or Booster Course Pass videos in general out lately. But that's all I've got for today's video. Um, it was just more of like a discussion type of video on my thoughts about where Tor's going and I kind of just wanted to make this into an actual video as well because like it's a pretty big topic because you know like I said Tor is what got me to like this place in the first place and I've had so much fun making content over the years. I, I cannot explain the much gratitude that I... I I, I'm, I'm very grateful for a community you guys have all created with me, and I'm, I'm just so happy that we've all been able to experience it together. Like, I know that sounds probably like cringy and stuff, or just generic, but I really do mean it. It's like it's, it's been life changing for me, and it's crazy to think how much a, a Mario Kart game on, on a phone can change you. It's been quite a while. It's been quite a wild ride and I'm just, I'm glad that you guys were all here to experience it with me. Just seeing how the game has evolved over time and the declines and inclines of how the game has been performing and stuff. It's been, it's been a blast. But all good things must come to an end at some point, so. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you guys did all enjoy. Make sure to go check out Triss over at Game Explain and check out the Game Explain channel because they make some really awesome videos and they basically just upload every single day. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, make sure to go check it out. I'm sure you've heard of them and I hope you are subscribed to them. Comment down below your thoughts about this whole tour situation. Like, are you still playing the game or are you kind of just, you're out of it now? I'm very curious to see what the community is thinking about this because I've seen a lot of people like leaving the community a lot lately and I want to see how many people on YouTube specifically has stayed with the game and what their plans are with the future of the game. So yeah, expect some Mario Kart 8 Deluxe content coming out very soon. I'm sorry to the tour players who have wanted to see me cover more tour, but I don't, I, I just, I don't think there's really anything else I can do that's, you know, interesting for my channel. But that's all I've got to say for today's video. I hope you guys did all enjoy, and I'll catch you all in the next one, Wiggler Simps. Peace out, stay safe, bye bye